Hi guys, it's Natalie again. I'm here with the final whistle. Um, I'm here with a new fan today, Arsenal fan, Marisha. How is right, isn't it? I said it Marisa. right. Marissa, no sorry. Marissa, <laughs> tell us a bit about yourself, how long you've been a fan, why Arsenal women, just generally in your words. Yeah, so I started supporting Arsenal when I was eight. Um, knew about Kelly Smith and Alex Scott. They were the main women's uh, Arsenal women that I'd heard of without really knowing much more about them. And then uh, 2015, after that World Cup, really got into women's football and sort of been following it ever since. And then obviously now I know where Arsenal play, you know, the players, that kind of thing, yeah. go to Bournemouth and see them. So, yeah, probably about yeah. four years been solid, solidly following women's football and Arsenal women in particular. Brilliant. Um, obviously, we played on Saturday, you played on Sunday. But just going to our game, what do you think impressed you the most? And were there any players or, you know, uh, specific signings or anything that you thought stood out? Yeah, I thought you were really good, actually. Um, mm. Should have got at least a goal. I think that Jane Ross chance, you know, maybe she'd caught it a bit better. She was kind of reaching mm. her foot and, it, yeah, it was maybe a bit over the top. But I thought, yeah, Jane Ross really impressed me. I thought maybe that was because she's against her old side, wanting to prove a point as well, you know. But she was really good. Yeah. And Jackie Gronan, obviously, everyone knows, world-class talent, you know, Dutch international. She showed her class as well. So, yeah, I thought it was a really good game for you guys. And, and yeah, if you'd taken a point, no, you, nobody would have complained. No, so, definitely. I mean, no one's been disheartened. It was a really good performance. Probably a lot of people wrote us off. Didn't expect that to happen. So for it to for only lose 1-0 and from a wonder goal, I think, you know, no one can be upset. Everyone's excited now to see what happens for the rest of the season. Obviously, your ladies, women, they played on Sunday. You told me that you're at Stamford Bridge, though. But what do you think of Arsenal's performance and even a bit on Stamford Bridge? How was it down there? Um, so Arsenal's performance, I thought it was really quite shaky. Um, wasn't what come to expect over last year. Uh, West Ham could easily have equalised. Uh, if they'd come over a point again, it wouldn't have been an issue because they played really well. First half, Arsenal dominated. Second half, West Ham came into it, got a, um, a goal back early on. And then there was the... the um, Indirect free kick, which is just one of them classic things before we just love it. Um, in the 88th minute, and to be honest, I thought West Ham were going to score. Um, so yeah, they could have scored from that. They had a lot of chances, and I think Arsenal just didn't really look defensively sound as they have recently. So that was a bit of a concern because I think sort of last year we blitzed past West Ham, but obviously that shows the quality of the league that no game is just going to be a walkover. Teams are getting better and. You know, you're defending champions. Everyone wants to beat you. So mm. it's something Arsenal will have to obviously look at over the season. But yeah, I thought West Ham should be really proud of that performance. And Arsenal, definitely the, the luck of champions that they managed to, you know, escape <laughs> with the three points. Yeah. Uh, Stamford Bridge, that was quite a good atmosphere. Um, obviously, it was supposed to be 40,000 because they were saying it was going to be a sellout and overtake the previous record that was yeah. set by the Manchester Derby. But um, 25,000, I think the early goal was good, but then that was it. So mm. it was kind of like you were waiting for more goals. And Chelsea had a lot of chances and Spurs could have scored as well. It was another close game in which you would have said, if Spurs had equalised, you would have said, yeah, you know, fair yeah. result. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it was a good atmosphere, but I think it was a bit underwhelming that it, it should have been a sellout. And the fact the tickets were free and it still wasn't a sellout, whereas obviously the Manchester Derby people paid for. Yeah. Um, it was. It seemed like the the Stamford Bridge had the better atmosphere, but yeah. then Manchester Derby people paid for it more bums on yeah. seats. So you know. Yeah. When people say atmosphere, I've, I've seen people say that. What what was it that made it? Was it fans singing? Was it fans engagement? Because I saw there was the DJ. I saw there's clappers. Is that what brought it? Yeah, I think that yeah, there was these clappers. Obviously, get kids yeah. involved. Uh, Marvin Humes was doing the DJ set. Um, and there was like these these um, women on stilts, kind of like carnival oh, right. sort of atmosphere. Oh. Um, 
Yeah, I came like about 10 minutes before the game, so there might have been a lot more I didn't see, yeah. but there was a fan zone. Um, so like Frank Kirby and a few Chelsea players were like, answering questions in a fan zone. So I guess it was just the whole yeah. vibe of, of yeah. um, being around the stadium, things like that. And, you know, like the Manchester derby, it's not something that happens every week. So you, you go all out to try and make it a big deal and everyone to enjoy it. So Yeah, I mean, obviously... Chelsea, City and Arsenal, top three, obviously not in that order, but they've had difficult games. Is that sort of the way you see it going this season then? What, in terms of? In terms of just, like you say, you blitz West Ham before. Do you think it's going to be harder for all those three teams or do you think eventually they'll sort of form the top three and that'll be it and everyone else will be fighting underneath them? Mm, I think it'll be a bit of both, maybe Mm. early on. Especially like Arsenal playing in the Champions League tomorrow night, so Man City, so there'll be like the tiredness from that squad rotation, things like that. That'll obviously catch up with them. Um, but yeah, I do think that it will be a lot more competitive. Yeah. You've seen a lot of teams signing really good players. People want to come and play in the Women's Super League now. Yeah. So it won't just be, even if um, those games are won, like all of the games at the weekend was only by one goal margin. So I think even if those games are won, it's not going to be like last year, Man City beat West Ham 7 1, which is just, you know, ridiculous. I don't think we're going to see scorelines that bad mm. this season. So I do think eventually Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City will form the top three, but it's not going to be as easy as last season where they're just above the rest. And as you said, the rest are just there scrabbling for what's left underneath. Obviously, you mentioned it there Champions League, squad rotation. Do you see a totally different side that's going to play on? Tomorrow and then at Lee? I don't think so because uh, even the squad we put out for um, Sunday wasn't vastly different to what we've had before. Um, obviously, me and Mar was rested, which sensible decision Champions League comes first. But I could see maybe her being rested again against Man United and coming off the bench or something. But I just feel like that our team is quite interchangeable. They all seem to do the same role. So it's not like you're really missing anyone. Yeah. And Beth Mead has stepped up so much, you know, over last season and against West Ham, she was brilliant as well. Got a goal, put on the assist for, um, who's on new side? Jill Rod. Mm. So, yeah, I think, I don't think the squad will change too much. So obviously Joe trusts his players, doesn't want to, do too much to upset the balance so there might be like one two maybe three changes but I don't think it'll be yeah. like a whole you know seven or eight so you said obviously Miedema she you think she might not play against us for us that's good <laughs> you know we played you last year she was the shining light yeah definitely. obviously Jordan Nobbs is back do you think that she's going to start Champions League and then maybe on the bench against us what do you think Maybe you think. I don't know about that one. Mm. Just the fact that obviously Champions League is such high intensity. She's just come back. We don't want to push her in that, you know, that much and maybe risk something else. Obviously, when you come up with such a serious injury, you might get a little niggle or hamstring or something like that. So I think she might she might start the Champions League game and come off. Yeah. Start Man United and come off. You know, just. Okay. Don't give her the full 90 minutes maybe so soon. So I'm sure she'll play a part in both games, but I wouldn't imagine 90 minutes in both, one or the other. So. Okay. Okay. Putting my mind at rest there. <laughs> no. We've got plenty of others to scare you, though. <laughs> so obviously, you know, it's our first season in the Super League. I don't know if you caught any of us last season or hopefully you were there watching that ball. What's your thoughts generally on the way Man United play and some of our players? Yeah, I think you blitz the championship. That was that was kind of a given, really, being the full time team in the part time league. You know, you that was the expectation for you to win it, and you did. You won it well. Um, so I think you've got quality in the side, and you've added to that. Obviously, having the pre, uh, the women's Super League experience now will be really helpful. You've got young players that are going to develop and get so much valuable game time in the Women's Super League. I think your team, yeah, you're going to catch a lot of people unawares, maybe. Quite dangerous because, obviously, like Casey Stoney was asked if your title took attendance and she said, no, no chance. Like We've just been promoted. We want to, this is a long-term project we're building, you know, but that doesn't mean you're just going to be here to stay in the league or make up the numbers. 
mm. I would say maybe like six, six, seven, you and yeah. good run in a few cups. Like yeah. last, you know, last season, was it the FA Cup? Um, Arsenal knocked yeah. you out or the Conti Cup in the semi? Conti. So they went all the way to the semi. Well, there you go. And you beat uh, WSL teams along the way. So if you can do it in the cups, you know, that will become regular. You've had experience mm. of playing women's super league teams before you've got there which obviously will have helped so yeah I, I definitely think there's a lot of promising signs in your team obviously to lose Alex Greenwood was a blow you know big yeah. captain big player for you but I think you'll be able to not replace her but you know have enough quality that it won't be like a devastating thing for your season good good it's good to hear opposition fans say it and you know obviously I think maybe you lot might uh, I think Chelsea but I think you'll be second because I think Champions League is going to have a big impact, mate. Maybe not as big as everyone's going to make out because I think I can see it being a very evening league this season. But I think maybe Chelsea might win it, Arsenal second. Yeah, I mean, not have my Champions League. Uh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Don't you coming that high up. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, all the rest oh, of the teams oh. in the league. Nah. <laughs> Well, overall, Monday night's the big one for us, 7.30. I don't know if you're going to be able to make it. Oh, yeah, it's a Monday night, isn't it? Too far. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, Got to work next. Yeah. I'll be watching on the FA player. Yeah. Um, how do you think it's going to go then, the game? <sighs> you'll, you'll, have, you'll have taken the positives from the Manchester derby. Be well up for it. Obviously, at home, home fans, everyone really excited for the match your first home match of the season. So I think I, I would say potentially, I'll say a draw because Arsenal will be tired from Champions League. So I think there's a chance that if you start well on the front foot, take your chances, then could be a draw. Um, yeah. Obviously, I want Arsenal to win, but I think just with the thing of the Champions League, if if no Champions League, I would have said we'll win, but it just depends. Yeah, I think I think a draw could be be the result maybe a one or draw I'll go for yeah I think definitely what you said about taking the chances like maybe if James Ross had taken that chance it would have ended 1-1 or it would have ended 1-0 but there you go that's the thing you're in the women's super league now like when you were you know winning like 5-0 you could miss one it doesn't matter but when you're in women's super league that one chance you miss could change the whole game so obviously that's something you'll get used to as you progress through the season but yeah any chance that comes you just want to put it in the back of the net Thanks for coming on the channel. Um, hope to see you from you soon. And I'll probably see you down in Bournemouth. Yeah? No worries. Yep. See you see there. Later. Take care. See you Bye. Bye.